All right, guys, today I have a Panasonic CF51 Tough Book. I'll be showing you how to remove and replace or upgrade your hard drive on these computers. To begin, we'll just flip the computer over, locate the memory cover door, and then below that, there's a latch with a raised part of the case that follows to the hard drive caddy. We simply slide the latch over to the left, sliding the hard drive caddy out of its slot, move the computer over to the side for a second, and then today we'll be using a, I will be using a nylon and a metal pry tool. You could use either two nylon or two metal pry tools to, use, to get this opened. Um, the hard drive caddies have six clips, two in the front, two in the back, and one on each side. These have to be released in order for you to remove the aluminum cover. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you. Let me get it to focus. I know. Alright. See if that's good. So what I like to do is I like to shove the pry tools on the on the corners, pop it up, okay, and then after doing that I like to go to the back of the, the caddy, slide both of the pry tools in and then pry upwards, very gently of course, don't exert too much force into it. Okay, in doing this you have the foam padding that Panasonic uses on their hard drives to keep uh, keep them from shaking too much when you uh, move your unit around. I like to remove the whole thing to lift the hard drive upwards. And please keep in mind that there are two flaps. There's one with four sides that go into the side of it and then there's one that just has three foam pieces here. Uh, the one with the copper lining goes on the top of the hard drive and this goes on the bottom. The hard drive sits on this. So we'll just set that aside real quick. Use our nylon tool to lift up the hard drive. I like to put my index and my middle finger on the ribbon cable and my thumb and just wiggle it up and down while you're sliding it outward. At this point you have removed, you've successfully removed your ID hard drive. So whether you're upgrading to a larger size or you're just replacing a broken one, now we go ahead and reinstall it. If you notice on the connector there's a pin that's covered and if you notice on your IDE hard drive, there's a pin that's missing. Line the plug, uh, the pin hole that is covered with the one that is missing. And then you just gently push it back in. Then we grab the foam piece, making sure that the green foam piece goes into the side. You gently lay your hard drive in there. And then we just simply slide the black foam pieces on the sides into the, the empty space and then sliding the green one into that space as well. Be careful with this copper shim here. This copper is very, very sharp. It will cut you very easily. The same goes with this aluminum cover here. They're also very sharp. So what I like to do is I like to start on the corners. So I like to make sure that all four sides of the aluminum cover are in. Slide it in there, rotate it to the other side, and just making sure that the aluminum piece goes into it and not over it. So we don't want it to do this where it's going over the black plastic. So that happens just gently. Take your pry tool, shove it in there, and slide it out so that you can readjust it. Okay? Just make sure that this perfectly aligned, and then you just hear a click like so and then you are done just double check that all of the the little pins are back in and you are done you have now replaced or upgraded your hard drive then we grab the unit right here see if I can get it to focus over here sorry if the phone shakes so um, just the way that we removed it we we'll just gently slide it in there, and we'll hear a click, and now we are done. So now you can go ahead and turn your unit on. Zoom out here. Just flip it over. You can go ahead and turn your unit on. 
reload your operating system or install a new operating system uh, on it or re-image your new hard drive with your um, your backed up uh, image. This is if you've created a ghost image or uh, used other software to do so. Um, I hope this helps. Like, comment if you have any questions, any uh, comments, critique, all very well accepted. So thanks again for watching. Have a good day.